Perfect Days is about this toilet cleaner. Not toilet cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> public toilet cleaner in Tokyo. He lives a very solitary life. This whole movie is just about his routine day to day. And he has a very particular routine in which he just wakes up very early in the morning, brushes his teeth, washes up. He also has this room where he plants trees. I don't know if they're trees. He sprays them with water. Reminded me of how I always wanted a little garden. I wanted to plant stuff but every time i try to plant something it dies so i'm just like maybe i'm not meant to grow stuff he has like three main hobbies taking care of plants listening to old cassette tapes he also reads and then he also takes pictures it's very peaceful he lives alone. He takes baths at this bathhouse. He goes to eat at this place in the subway station area. And he also visits this other bar owned by this lady they call mom. Mama. And then for lunch, he always goes to this kind of park area where he just sits and he looks up at the leaves on the trees and the sunlight filtering through the leaves and he takes pictures. I don't even think he has a phone. He's not very distracted by anything. He lives in the moment. This whole movie is apparently just about living in the moment. It's about appreciating the beauty of the little things in life. I think a lot of people would look at him and think that his life is lonely, but I don't think it's lonely. I don't think being alone and being lonely is the same thing. It's not the same thing. You can interpret this movie in many different ways. For me, I was like, is it trying to say like perfect days are just your average day where you, you're really appreciating every little moment you've accepted your life? But the main character, Hirayama, the toilet cleaner, <laughs> he doesn't really talk. He's like, he's kind of an interesting character in that it kind of made me wonder if he was just socially awkward or if he's been through something that made him this way or he was always like this i don't know because we don't actually ever learn about him or his past or his future <laughs> it's just him in the moment being a toilet cleaner we do see him interact with people so he's not exactly completely isolated his sister actually seems to come from wealth i don't know if maybe his family was very wealthy but apparently his dad has alzheimer's now he's refusing to go see the dad and we don't really know why we can assume that maybe the dad did not treat him very well growing up or maybe he kind of at some point in his life he gave up his previous life to live this his current life of solitude it's not really explained there i mean it's very open to interpretation you can tell that he's actually a very emotional person after his meeting with his sister and they hug that was like one of the moments where he sort of broke down and cried i feel like every time he interacts with other people he gets sort of emotional afterwards. The end scene was a little bit confusing because he was just driving and then he was just breaking down. He was like crying. He wasn't like breaking down, but he got very emotional. And it was just like a mix of emotions. It wasn't like he was really sad. I think he was feeling a little overwhelmed. At first, I thought I understood him. I was like, oh yeah, he's just a simple guy. He's a simple toilet cleaner. He's simple, but at the same time, he's not simple because he was like crying and you're like, why is he crying? <laughs> <laughs> when you spend a lot of time by yourself, you also become very introspective. I can sort of relate to that. I had a period in my life when I was alone a lot of the time. It's like when you go on a solo walk and you're just listening to music and you have time to like think about a lot of stuff. In those moments where he's like really emotional and he's alone, it might be that he he's thinking about a lot of things that maybe he wishes. I don't know. It just it reminds me of that feeling when you want something to happen or you want an outcome to occur or a sequence of events or a different life, but you know that if you get it, it's not going to be the same as when you're imagining it. I've gotten the thing that I wanted and then realized that it was not exactly what I wanted. So I don't know, maybe like after he met his sister, he's like, yeah, I kind of wish that I could go back to living a different life. But at the same time, he's like, if I choose that, I would have to give up my current life. And then maybe the life that I'm actually imagining is not the same when you finally obtain it. Because it's like you want something, but you also know that it's not the same once you have it. He's at that age where, you know, others around him at his age should have a family or society tells him he should live a certain way, but he's sort of strayed from that and he doesn't really want that but there are moments in his life where he maybe starts to question and he's like oh maybe maybe i should be having a family and then you know not being a toilet cleaner because he knows that his life is not exactly desired by most people he's enjoying it but there are definitely going to be moments where he starts to question maybe i should be doing something else or maybe other people are right. But at the same time, he's like, I don't want to do something just because society tells me I have to do it. Or 
It could be like, if I do trade my current life for a different life, it's not going to be what I imagine it to be. Life is all about trade-offs. I mean, he probably knows. If he wants something else, he has to give up something he currently has. But I think he really appreciates everything he has currently. There's a lot of conflicting thoughts there. I mean, I think it's normal to get emotional over that, isn't it? I don't know. Does that make sense? I actually don't know. He didn't say anything. <laughs> he didn't say anything. He also didn't even really go through anything. He was just an observer. He was just there. You could interpret this in so many ways. And I think it really depends on, you know, your own life experiences. I don't know if anyone really chooses their path. I mean, they kind of do, but there are definitely many influences around you that kind of push you towards certain directions. I don't think there's ever just an isolated choice that you make to, and be like, oh, this is the exact life that I want. I don't think that really happens realistically. So I don't think that he chose to be a toilet cleaner. I think somehow his life just led him here and he's learned to accept it. I feel like he's at peace with himself, but the world around him is like something out of his control and he's just trying to interact with it the best way that he can. I think it's hard for us to imagine what a life like that is because nowadays we're so distracted by like social media and everything that's going on, the internet, the technological age. It's really interesting to see his lifestyle because it's such a contrast to what we live now in modern. I mean, he lives in modern day, but he's like not assimilating to modern society. I don't think most of us could imagine living a life like that because we're always distracted. But this movie really tried to make you think about living in the moment, how special that is. I don't know if it changed me as a person, though. I don't think it makes me want to live in the moment, which is kind of sad. It's nostalgic. Why is it nostalgic? Because of nature and because I wanted to grow plants when I was little. It reminds me of every time I go outside and I smell the grass, it's like nostalgic. And I'm like, why is it nostalgic to smell grass? And then I realize it's because I'm indoors all day. It's so rare for me to go outside that every time I smell grass, I'm like, oh my God, the smell of childhood. <laughs> oh my God, I sound like I never go outside. Um, I do, I do, I do kind of go outside, not really. If walking to my car counts as going outside, what am I doing? What am I doing sitting here? Y'all, let's go outside. We should go outside more. I'm going to go outside now. <laughs>